Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome back to my page. Today we're actually going to be restyling a wig that I had planned for Awesome Con 2023 for my Belle cosplay. Now, she has been a little bit of jammed in a drawer somewhere. So, if you'd like to see how I restyled my Belle wig, follow along and enjoy the show. Let's start off looking for a wig that we can use to basically do a male version of Belle. I don't think green is going to really work, so neither is blue. Blonde's not going to work. At this point, I thought it would be a little boring to go through every single wig until I found the actual wig I used for Belle, but here you go. This one. Is this going to let me do the whole... No. So this one is a no. Lace front, and it's definitely long enough, and it's already got a good curl pattern going on. So, let's see. Yeah, I think I think doing bell with that. Go ahead and wash her. So as you can see here, I am just using regular Dawn dish soap to mix into the water. Again, these are synthetic wigs. They don't need the expensive hair care products. Just use soap and water. As this is a lace front, I am cleaning the lace thoroughly with a toothbrush and some extra Dawn to break down any adhesives. Let it soak for at least 15 minutes. That will allow all the previous product in there to loosen up. After the 15 minutes, go ahead and rinse her out. Make sure you do rinse out all the soap thoroughly before drying it. Down. I am using a towel as a roll technique to squeegee out any of the remaining water that is still in the wig. This does help it dry out faster and also is more gentle on the wig itself. As you can see right here, the wig is relatively dry and ready to style. Okay, pretty much dry. So let's go ahead and get her pinned up, blocked out before we go ahead and start combing her all the way through. going to protect 
protect your lace. If you'd like a more in-depth video on how to block a wig properly, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to come up with one. Right here I'm actually pinning down the temples as well. This gives a little bit more stability to the wigs when combing. Okay. Now, in the back, grab a clip real quick. this up and out of the way for right now. So in the back, we have something called the nape of the neck. Okay, so you want to pull this down as far as you can. Stretch that out. Pull down. Styling your wigs with the nape extended as it is here stretched out, this actually means it won't okay. be too short when it goes on your head. Make sure that when you are brushing out a wig, you start at the base and work your way up. I'm going to take about not much. Here I'm just sectioning out the wig for what is going to be curled up for setting overnight purposes later on. Okay. And since this is going to be a ponytail wig, I am leaving some of the hair out that will be tied back later on. Use these type of rollers. I'm going to go with the medium sized ones. About four of them. When curling a wig, you want to remember that curl pattern is important. As I want the hair in the front to go away from the face, I am rolling from top to bottom going back, but I'm only doing the front sections of the hair. At this point, it's also important to get out all the knots as possible so that it helps you with your styling later on. So I sped this part up, but basically just roll the hair away from the face and use pins to go through the curler and into the styrofoam. Okay, so she is roughly curled and basically set up to let dry. For 24 hours and then come back and we'll get her styled up once she's completely dried so 24 hours later we have this I'll go ahead and take these down oops there's that let's curl Up. 
So most of this is just trial and error and trying to get the wig to lay the way you want it to. So I sped it up here because it's about 45 minutes of me just fussing with these curls to get them to lay the way I wanted them away from the face as Belle's hair does. So you may need some heat and some other styling tools, products, basically to get the hair to do with what you want it to look like. And don't get discouraged because this does take a lot of play and practice and the best thing to do is just play around with a wig that you don't worry about. What I was actually trying to say here is to cover up the rubber band, you can actually use a ribbon, which I used one that complements Bell's color scheme. And here's the completed wig in its 360 glory, and I plan on wearing this to Awesome Con in the next week. Thank you for following along with the bell wig, and if this is what you're interested in, remember to go ahead and like, subscribe, and share, and hopefully we'll get some more projects out to you for the future. Again, this was for a cosplay for Awesome Con that is happening in about a week, so I don't want to put her on and mess her up until the actual event. Hopefully I'll be able to post some videos and some photos of the event so that I can share with y'all the adventures that I have at Awesome Con. So thank you very much for following along and have a good evening. Tschüssi!